Two Frogs by Chris Wormel. Once there were two frogs sitting on a lily pad in the middle of a large pond. One of the frogs was holding a stick. What's that for? asked the other frog. For protection, said the frog with the stick. This stick is to beat off the dog. What dog? said the other frog, quickly looking over his shoulder. I can't see a dog. There is no dog. Not now there isn't. Not this moment, replied the frog with a stick. But what if a dog should come swimming across the pond and try to eat it up? Better safe than sorry. The other frog was puzzled. But no dogs ever come swimming in this pond, he protested. At least I've never seen one. In fact, I can't even remember seeing one on the edge of the pond. And why would a dog want to come swimming in the pond anyway? They're not so fond of swimming as us frogs, you know. Perhaps the dog's master might throw a ball out into the pond for him to fetch, suggested the frog with the stick. But this is such a large pond, it would have to be a mighty throw to reach us out here, declared the other frog. And the dog would have to be a very good swimmer. But suppose the dog's master was a champion javelin thrower, suggested the frog with the stick. Suppose a champion javelin thrower came to this pond with his dog, who was an excellent swimmer, and threw the ball right out here in the middle for his dog to fetch. And what if the dog, while fetching the ball, came upon us frogs and tried to eat us up? Well, I have a stick to beat off the dog. The other frog burst out laughing. Foolish frog, he cried. You're much more likely to be eaten up by a pike or a heron than by a dog. Why worry about dogs? It's ridiculous. He laughed so much that he fell into the pond. Just at that moment, a large pike was swimming by beneath the lily pads. It heard the plop of the frog falling in. It opened its enormous toothy jaws and was just about to gobble up the two frogs when a heron snapped them up in its beak. It flew off, leaving the large pike chewing on a lily pad, but the stick jammed in the heron's beak as it tried to swallow the two frogs. They jumped out and fell back into the pond. Plop! Plop! As soon as they hit the water, the two frogs swam as fast as they could to the shore and hopped off into the woods looking for sticks. So they missed the champion javelin thrower who came to the pond that morning with his dog.